Hello, Hello treasures. treasures! Welcome back to the channel and this is Helen's Corner. Yes, this is not our channel. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here with a very hot, hot gist. gist. Hot gist. Hot gist. Like, gist. Hot gist. So it's all about house helps, housemates, whatever they want to call them. The trend last week was about a lady that boiled hot water, added it pepper poured on her help and gave her some to drink. And how God will have it, she was caught when she went to the chemist to get medications and the man insisted on the child being taken to the hospital. And that was what led to her being arrested and reported. But what made me angry and why I'm bringing this gist to you that we want to talk about is that this child is just 10, ten years. years. Ten, ten years. one zero. Ten years. And do you know the crime she committed? Poor hot water. She broke plates. She broke a plate. Maybe no. so that my children have broken five this weekend. Just this weekend, weekend, like three cups and the, the, the whole the whole place plate rack fell. Oh. Like everything they washed. This is like I almost cried. And and because why me I feel this is wickedness and a premeditated act is that she had time to boil hot water. How long does and hot water pepper. take to boil? And put pepper. Then she not added pepper. Her own Pour child, did she pour hot water and, and put pepper? The first question is, is it okay to bring children to come and live with us and in the name of want to help them, want to train them in school and do not expect too much of them? How old is actually too old or too young to come and stay with someone? For me, if you ask me, like, <laughs> basically, abroad, some countries, they have specification that you cannot leave your child and go out for a child that is less than 16 years. Yes. In fact, there must be a child that is above 16 years in the house for you to leave, leave any of your child that is less than that 16 years and go out. So, but for me, I feel since this is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, like that, it's okay. The person we can, at least the person can wash plates, sweep room, do some things for you. You should bring in somebody that will be a help, not a baby. No need bringing somebody that cannot help you. Bring very, in, when you want to bring house help, bring in house help. Let's know you have house help. Personally for me, I just feel that before you bring in somebody, what are you expecting from the person to do? Good. You can't bring a 12 year old and expect the person to do what a 25 year old would do. Exactly. That would be wickedness. You can't bring in a 10 year old and say, okay, I'm bringing her in to come and start mopping the house to sparkle that when I step on it, I won't. Feel. Then, yeah, we are just the dream. You just want I'm to be telling you, yes. to another person's child. That's how me and see. Because, yes. you, know, you know, most times it happens that uh, she's coming to help us. And uh, no, they're suffering in their house. I'm coming to help feed yes. that trainer in school. Let us not use it as modern day slavery. When you bring in this child, in your mind, tell yourself that it's the work I can give my child at this age that will make sure I give this child. So that you don't end up abusing another person's child and, there, and thereby breaking another person. Because that's what I see it as. The child broke a plate, but now you did not just only break. Uh, she didn't only break a plate. You decided to break her, break her spirit, her soul, and her body. Because this child will just imagine what she did to her. Her self esteem will be lost. She won't forget those memories. And that is it. So we should bring children that we know that we can actually take care of. And another thing I want to say is that when you bring a child, know the limits to which this child can offend you that the child should go. There's no way it's written that if you bring the child, that's the only child or the only help that is around. So if you, whether it's a child or a teenager or an adult, let there be a particular thing that, oh, if this one has, has happened, or oh, I'm feeling this way, I think it's time you go. So it will, it will be the day you get angry, you will not overreact, because that's what I think actually happens to most of these women. There are some that are in the habit of being wicked, but there are some that the child be annoying me, annoying me, be holding it, then you now decide to overreact so see when you bring in a child that's another thing you should be prepared if you want to help the child right you should be prepared to do for the child what you will do for your own children i keep saying it even if it's not exactly that quality you do for your own children it should be at least what the person's parents can
can also afford for the child. Do you understand me? Like, something above, say. Yeah, or even something above, above. Or something very close to what you can do for your child. For instance, if you're going to put your child children in school of one million, you should be able to at least put this child in a school of like hundred thousand. There is a trend though. They will carry people's children. They will keep it in their house. The child will be going for all this uh, normal uh, um, uh, the government school that do does morning and afternoon. Government school, they do one week morning, one, one, one week, week after. That baby is on money. The person doesn't go to school because you're going to work that week. The, the baby only goes to school the week that is on afternoon. Uh, uh, do what kind of yeah, you nine months to plan for your baby? When this baby comes, remember that it's only three months you have for maternity leave. You should be prepared to bring in either a nanny where the baby is three months that will be taking care of that baby at home, or you bring in. Or you will be prepared to take the baby to crates. There are lots of crates that are good in handling children. Take this baby to crates instead of condemning to people's children's education. If I do this thing to you, how will you feel? Ask yourself. If someone do this to my child, okay. will I like it? Will you even want your child to go for me? I even have a problem with this afternoon they do here because I know when we were growing up, it was either it was usually permanent. Is it that we go you yeah, on uh, money you go for morning school or afternoon school? But recently they still alternating it. I may have a problem naturally with afternoon because by afternoon you are tired. What are you even going to learn under the hot sun, the heat? Because me, I believe school starting by 8 to 11, 12, 1. Then you maximize that morning and when the brain is sharp. But a child going to school in the afternoon is already tired, has been carrying baby. In fact, I don't know what you even want this child exactly. to learn. Exactly. To go and learn. I don't know what you want the child to learn. So we should, we should have human conscience. Women, men out there, have human conscience. Always ask yourself, this thing I want to do for this child, I want to do to this person. And if they do it to me, we like enjoy it. We like be happy before you do it to another person. If they do it to my child, we like be happy. We like enjoy before you do it to another person. Another thing, what do we do about these parents that give out their children? I don't know. What, I don't what know. do we do for so Christ's sake? See, I that? met somebody, you know, part of the thing that caused all these things is illiteracy. Because I've met someone that said that hey, since I don't have money now, my children will be my wife. Let me give birth. One of them will succeed. And you find out that most times, even that one that succeeds, eh, it is their home that there is always divorce, trouble, this one or this one. Because all those other ones that did not succeed will not rely on him. Leech on him. Yes, leech on him. And want him to be bringing everything. Then their wife will not be having the type of problem we discussed in my channel. Yes. Because of leeches everywhere. Give birth to the amount you can train for Christ's sake. Like, oh God, oh God. I met this person. Do you know what the person told me? I said, you are giving birth to this already baby number five. Please don't bother again. He said, ah, I don't get money. I don't get picking. What thing I go do? I go buy plenty. If I buy plenty, make I know whether one of them go turn millionaire tomorrow. Now you go help me. Which will other buy heavy? That was the language. Like, Something that is ten cannot be useless. Oh God! So with that kind of mentality, they will give out children to go and try a lot. What yeah, they are doing? There was even one I met last year. What she told me is that when she was having her children, that God told her that He will send people that will take care of the children. So she has like eight, of which she doesn't know where most of them are now because relatives have to start helping her to give her her children. So Another thing is for you as a parent to plan. I'm not saying we are dying young, but let's plan our deaths. Because child of somebody that is enjoying today can become a poor man yes. tomorrow. And we suffer. Planning your death, I mean, is there are a lot of educational health, educational insurance out there, life insurance out there that you can do for your children. The, I don't want to call bank or insurance so no. that I will not be marketing any. Google proper health insurance you can do for, sorry, proper educational insurance you can do for your children. This is part of what will solve the problem. Because if you do this educational insurance for your children, paraventure anything happen to you tomorrow, 
The insurance company, remember to obey their rules. So. The insurance company should be able to take care of your children's education. And when they are up to 18, the entry university, they should be able to take care of them. And when they finish, they will be they can be able to work, fend for themselves to somewhat extent when you are no longer there. Because at times you find out that these people that are maltreating might even be their brother. Their brother that even was the one that made them who they are. Their brother's child. Child, because the brother is no it's longer dead. alive. Yes. Or their sister's child, because the sister is no longer alive. So plan for your death. Like, I'm not saying you are dying now, no. Don't come and say, hey, this corner is wishing somebody dead. If, do education insurance too, for your children. This, um, this story now that, that happened, what happened in um, that state, the child is an, actually an orphan. So you find out that there, there is no even the way uh -huh. about the parents gave birth to a lot of children. Uh -huh. that she's an orphan, no father, no exactly. mother. Exactly. So that was even what made her to even meet the woman in the first place. Yes. So it's good that we plan ahead for our children, even as we have the number we want to have. Then for me now, advice now to those that bring in, yes, you want to help that lady. Because actually, you know, one of the arguments we are having online that last week was that it's more in the eastern part of Nigeria. It's more in the eastern part of Nigeria. The truth is that the eastern part of Nigeria, I think to an extent we are more family oriented. We, we, but uh, most time when you come to a family, you might not even know those that are from the nuclear family and the extended family. We, there is this communal living we enjoy. So, but before you take that relative into your house, ask yourself whether you can really treat this child how you treat your children. We've said it earlier, but it's just like to emphasize on it. If your children can eat egg, are you sure you can give the person egg? If your children can drink tea, are you sure you can give this person tea? If your children can eat bread, you know all this food we take as sacred, can your children, can you also give it to that person? Because most of the year, she's stealing. Why won't she steal? She's watching your children drink tea, eat egg, and she, she is there by you who left last night this morning and why would she want to taste this egg and tea the children drink so that's one of the things we should ask ourselves and prepare our pocket financially also prepare yourself for anger management yes anger management <laughs> if you don't know how to do it <laughs> go and so at times i google because i have this anger management issue at times so at times i google anger management read it very well that's when i started learning how to control my anger anger management i started learning take a deep breath walk out of the place different so ways Bam. different don't ways immediately. yes different ways to manage anger you have to learn it you have to read it because there's something even your child will do will be like like if I kill this anger, learn how to hold yourself when you are what angry. Mm -hmm. Because any person can be angry. I can be angry. She can be angry. You can be angry. Know your limit. I can't take this if this person do. If you are bringing a child, you should prepare. The child might steal one. The child the, might lie. The child might lie two. The child might bed wet the three. This child might break my plate. These are normal things you should prepare yourself for. This child might break my plate. Mm -hmm. This child might be beating my children. The way I don't like. Yes, the way I don't like. Might talk to them the way I don't like because these are not his siblings. Prepare yourself. How will I cope when this child? This child might just be playing game or watching television and my food will burn. This child might just be playing game or watching television, my child will pull and eat his poo. Prepare yourself for all these household problems. So that when it comes... Your child might injure. Yes. When it comes, it will not take you what you know. Away. Whatever you are going to do to, do to this child, you cannot do it to your own child. Please. Take child away. Because at that itself, you know people here, eh, they can poke nose. Once because it's somebody's child, it's not your child. There will be people, neighbors. Be people to see her. Did the I child wear the same clothes with her children? children? Did the child yes. wear the same shoe with her children? Some people naturally might be able to take care of the child, well, but they might not give the child exactly what they are giving to their children. It's okay. Do you understand? This is not hungry. The it's child not, is better than where she's coming. It's better than from. where. The important thing is that for the you child to be better than where your she's coming from. You can't bring a child from where she's and been keeping and now come and give 
the person in what situation. That is even uh -huh. my own yes. We, because we know that the, the economic situation is wonderful. But uh -huh. when you bring somebody's child, let the person's life be better. That when yes. you tell the person, please come and go back, the person will start begging. Yes. Please, here yeah, is better. And some people prognose a lot to the extent that uh, something happened here in our, in our neighbor's house. It was the neighbor that went to report to the police. Like the neighbor went to report to the police that uh, this woman is maltreating the, the, the house head. Meanwhile, when the police now came, they discovered it's even the house head that is maltreating the woman. The house head that is maltreating the woman. If a house head is maltreating you, you can't cope. Take yes. them back. Let them go. Leave, let them leave. See, there is no condition that you cannot manage. Yeah. So we really hope you guys enjoy this video. This video. And this video is not to judge anyone. We don't have anybody in mind making this video. We just want to throw out our, our, opinions our opinion concerning these things. We know it's not easy to bring in people's child and take care of them. But at least to some extent we should treat them like humans. And let and their life be better than where, where they are, they coming, are from. coming from. And so if you have any other advice, any yes. other suggestion, what we can do, just drop it in the comment section. Yeah, sure. And we'll be so glad. Remember to check out Helen's corner. We've talked about a very hot topic there. You won't want to miss it. God bless you. Till we see you next time. Bye.